Humans have been flying since the Wright brothers took to the air in 1903. A decade later, the first scheduled passenger flights began in 1914 across Tampa Bay, Florida, and many airlines formed soon after. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 10 oldest airlines still in operation. Note that some of the listings could change depending on exact dates, such as incorporation or starting service, so treat this a bit flexibly. At number 10, and founded in 1927, is Air Serbia. Although the airline only became known as Air Serbia in 2013, it traces its origins to several earlier national airlines of Yugoslavia. This started with Aeroput in 1927 and later became JAT Airways. The breakup of Yugoslavia altered its growth in the 1990s. In 1992, it became a public company and the flag carrier of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and later of Serbia. Etihad Airways took a 49% stake in JAT Airways in 2013 and the reformed airline became Air Serbia. The government of Serbia has since repurchased shares from Etihad and now controls 82%. Number 9. American Airlines In the 1930s, several airlines came together to operate under a single brand, but the oldest of these, American Airways, traces its origins back to 1927. Businessman E. L. Cord bought American Airways and rebranded it as American Airlines in 1934, with Texan businessman C. R. Smith as the airline's first CEO. American's growth has been through both expansion and acquisition. In the 1970s, it acquired Trans-Caribbean Airways, and in the 1990s, it took part of both TWA and Eastern Airlines operations. In 2013, it merged with US Airways to create the largest airline globally at the time. Coming in at number 8 is Delta Airlines. While not the first US airline, Delta is the oldest still in operation. The St. Petersburg Tampa Airboat Line started service across Tampa Bay, Florida in 1914. Delta started life as Huff Dulland Dusters, an aerial crop dusting company founded in Georgia. The company expanded to passenger services in 1929 between Dallas, Texas and Jackson, Mississippi. The airline's name came from the Mississippi Delta area. Like the other major US airlines, it has expanded through both its own growth and mergers. It merged with Northeast Airlines in 1972 and took over most of Pan Am's European routes. It merged again in 2008 with Northwest Airlines. Tajik Air is not an airline we often talk about, nor is it very large, with just one Boeing 757 currently in service. But at number 7 on our list, it is one of the oldest. The state-owned airline started service in September 1924 flying a Junkers F-13 aircraft to Bukhara in Uzbekistan. Domestic and regional service expanded over the decades, adding one Boeing 747 in 1993, the Boeing 737 from 2007, the 757 from 2008, and one 767 in 2016. Recent times have been tough, though. Privately owned Somon Air took over many routes and Tajik Air actually ceased operations in 2019. It has since restarted service, but with just one 757 aircraft. Number 6. Thin Air Originally founded as Aero OY in 1923, the company operated mail and cargo flights between Helsinki and Tallinn, Estonia. Its first aircraft were Junkers, fitted with floats for water landings. After the Second World War, the Finnish government took a majority stake in the airline and invested in longer European services, using the DC-3 and then the Convair 440. Its name changed to Finnair in 1953. Further expansion followed with New York in 1969 and the US West Coast in 1981. Asian flights started in 1976 with Bangkok and in 1988, it became the first Western European airline to offer direct flights to China. Helsinki's location makes for good connections and short flight times, and Finn Air has built its recent strength on US and European connections to Asia. Founded in 1923 by the Czechoslovak government, Czech Airlines, number 5 on our list, began life operating domestic cargo and limited passenger flights. 
Service was interrupted by the Second World War, but was resumed by the communist government later. It was the third airline globally to introduce jets, after BOAC with the Comet and Aeroflot, operating the Tupolev Tu-104 between Prague and Moscow. The airline, however, faces an uncertain future. Dismissing its entire workforce earlier this year, it declared bankruptcy in March and currently has a debt of $82 million. Russian airline Aeroflot traces its origins back to July 1923, making it fourth on our list. It was known then as Dobrolet and started flights from Moscow using Junkers aircraft. It was renamed Aeroflot in 1932, with several companies coming together under state ownership. After the Second World War, Aeroflot became the largest airline in the world for some time. It operated mostly USSR-built aircraft from Ilyushin, Tupolev and Antonov. The Tupolev Tu-144 supersonic Challenger to Concorde was, of course, one of the best known. The collapse of the Soviet Union in the 1990s brought major changes. Aeroflot was split into smaller companies in 1992, with Aeroflot itself focusing mostly on international routes from Moscow. This changed again in the 2000s, with Aeroflot competing openly in more areas. It remains the largest Russian airline but is a fraction of its former peak. It operated some 5,400 aircraft at its peak in 1991. Today, it operates just 212 aircraft. It now flies an all Airbus and Boeing narrowbody and widebody fleet, but has the regional Sukhoi Superjet as well. Number 3. Qantas Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services, or Qantas, started in November 1920 with a mission to service the sparsely populated northern regions of the country. The first aircraft were biplanes, an Avro 504K and a Royal Aircraft Factory BE-2E. Scheduled service started in 1922 with a government mail contract, followed by passenger services in 1924 with a four-seat de Havilland DH-50 aircraft. The route network would reach the coast in 1929 with an extension to Brisbane. Overseas services began in 1934 when Qantas and Imperial Airways, a predecessor of British Airways, jointly formed Qantas Empire Airways Limited, or QEA. The route to the UK with Short's S23 Empire flying boats in 1938 took nine days. Jet service began in 1959 with the 707. For several years in the 1980s, it operated an all-747 fleet, making its retirement particularly sad. Covid has hit the airline hard, with international flights grounded and uncertainty over its A380 fleet. It has bold aims, though, with Project Sunrise looking at ultra-long-haul flights direct to London and New York from Sydney. Coming in at number two is Avianca. Founded in December 1919, Avianca is just a few months shy from being the oldest airline on our list. It started life in Barranquilla, backed by German expatriates, as SCADTA, a Colombia German air transport company. Flights began in 1921 between coastal Barranquilla and inland Girardeau. Its early aircraft were from German manufacturer Junkers, with floats for water landings, these allowed the airline to grow through mail and passenger services, linking previously hard-to-reach areas. International services from Colombia to other South American countries began in the mid-1920s. Further afield, it struggled to compete with Pan Am's rise and agreed to a deal where Pan Am took majority ownership. This shifted during the war years, with the Colombian government taking a stake and the name changing to Aerovias Nacionales de Colombia, or Avianca. Service soon started to the US and to Europe by the 1950s. Pan Am's backing and the introduction of the Lockheed Super Constellation helped it expand amidst growing competition. It entered the jet age with the Boeing 707 and was the first Latin American operator to take on the 747 in 1976. Recent years have seen the airline struggle. In 2003, it filed for bankruptcy protection and merged with TACA in 2009. The airline continued under the Avianca brand with its headquarters in Bogota. In 2020, however, it filed for bankruptcy protection for a second time amidst the global slowdown. 
With a reported loss of over a billion dollars in 2020, its future remains far from certain. And lastly, coming in at number one on our list for the oldest airline in the world is KLM. KLM, or Kornelijke Luchtvaart Maaschappij in full, is just two months older than Avianca, and it's generally recognized as the oldest airline still in service under its original name. It was established in October 1919 by a group of investors and its first director, Albert Plessman. The first flights began in May 1920 with a de Havilland DH-16 aircraft between Croydon, London and Amsterdam. KLM began long-haul services in 1924, flying to Jakarta, known then as Batavia, using a Fokker FV-2 aircraft. Curacao services began in 1930. Like most airlines, it suffered during the Second World War, but aircraft remained in use in both Europe and Dutch East Indian territory. It resumed services to Jakarta soon after the war, and New York services began in 1946. It was the first European airline to use Douglas aircraft, operating the DC-2, DC-3, DC-4 and DC-6. Its first jet aircraft was the DC-8 in 1960. The Boeing 747 was introduced in 1971 and the 747-400 in 1989. It was the first European airline to launch a frequent flyer program, known as Flying Dutchman. This became the Flying Blue program in 2005. Today, it's part of the Air France KLM group. The two airlines merged in 2005, but operations and branding remain separate, hence the claim to continuous operation under the same name. We hope you've enjoyed our review of some of the world's oldest airlines. There are many others that could make the list too. Iberia has just missed out, it started in 1927, and British Airways holds claims to some of the earliest flights in 1919, although the airline was only formed in 1974. Have you ever flown with any of these airlines? Feel free to discuss these and others in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this.